Let's say you discussed the Matthew effect, the 10,000 hour rule, and then concerted cultivation. Okay? So you discussed all of those things in section three of the paper. You follow me? So in that sense, you're just basically summarizing outliers. You're not necessarily talking about your person. Oh. Okay. Section four is an argument supporting or refuting Gladwell's stance based on your person with specific evidence from his or her experience. So section four would be basically where you say, yes, this person fit into the Matthew effect. And maybe you say, yes, this person fit into the 10,000 hour rule, but you say, no, they didn't fit into concerted cultivation, and here's why. So, for example, maybe their dad and mom neglected them. Maybe their father and mother didn't actually cultivate their talents. So, in that case, what you're doing is you're kind of saying to Malcolm Gladwell, actually, you're wrong, because my person was successful, even though they didn't have this. Do you follow me? Okay. So, section three, you don't really have to be talking about your person. You'll get into that in section four. Question. Question. Like you said, like in section three, we just explain it like what the Matthew effect is. Exactly. Using an explanation. So, give an example from outliers. Because what you're doing there is you're showing me that you've read Outliers and that you understand it. Got it? So it's kind of like you're talking about your person, then you're talking about Outliers, then you're talking about how your person connects with Outliers. Follow me? Now, I don't have, you know... You have the internet in front of you, right? You have your book as well. It's not going to offend me if you go to like a summary of outliers, get some summaries of the chapters, and maybe get some ideas of what these things mean. But remember, if you use an actual quote from outliers, you got to include the page number. Okay? So what I'm going to do is... Okay, guys, go ahead and close your computers for a minute. Um, how many of you all are through section two? You've done your biography of the person. Okay, good. How many of you are through section three? You've done a summary of outliers. Okay, James Hunter... Stephen, Eric, Lauren, Aaron, Jason. Okay, how many of you are through section four? Jason. All right, so I want to just kind of give you a little bit of help. It sounds like most of you guys aren't even through section two. Keep in mind that after your intro, you've got the biography of the person, okay? And then section three is where you show me that you read outliers, that you understood at least three of the concepts. So section two, I'm sorry, section three, you're going to explain three key concepts from outliers, Okay, so let's say you talk about the 10,000 hour rule, concerted cultivation, and innate talent. All right, now what happens if your person doesn't have all of these things? You talk about how uh, they did support Thank you. Okay, so Lauren, you're exactly right. What you're going to do is let's say. They did support 
they did have this 10,000 hour rule, but they didn't have this one and they didn't have this one. Then what you're going to do is basically say, you know, you're basically saying Gladwell's theory does not apply to blank because, so let's say you're talking about concerted cultivation. His parents abandoned him and he raised himself. Okay, so he wasn't given any concerted cultivation. So Gladwell would have been wrong about that. So in section four, you're still going to talk about those three things with respect to your person. It's just a matter of do they apply or do they not apply? And if you've done that thoroughly, you're going to be really close to a thousand words. Tomorrow we're going to go over the conclusion and the citation page and you're going to press submit and go like this and have a great weekend and only focus on the final for the weekend. Got it? So what I'm going to be doing for today is looking at your essays and making sure that big picture you're doing these things right and then little picture I'm going to point out some of the um, grammatical things that you need help with. Okay? And that example that I showed you in classroom is a pretty good example of a body paragraph from section four. Okay. Any questions? No questions? You guys got this figured out? Okay. One being not ready at all, five being totally ready. At the end of the hour tomorrow, how ready are you going to be to submit a good paper? One being not at all, five being totally ready. The five will be totally ready tomorrow to put a good paper in. Okay. All right. If you have questions about your paper, and I'm not in your paper talking to you, you just bring your computer up to my desk. Um, be very careful. Don't hold it by the screen. Hold it by the base. Like this. Okay. And I'm going to start looking at your papers again. Okay. <laughs>